Hello, today we are going to be learning how to make a cork leather and wire calla lily. In your kit, you should have two petal pieces. The, when they are facing right side up, the piece that has the rounded edge on the left is going to be the outer part of your calla lily. And the piece that has the rounded edge on the right hand side is going to be the inner portion of your calla lily. This inner portion of your calla lily is just slightly smaller than the outside portion. You will also have a three millimeter wire. You will have two lengths, one in green, one in yellow, of 22 gauge wire. And then you'll have two small pieces, a silver wire that will help support the petals. Not included in your kit, but what you will need from home is you'll need fabric glue. The fabric glue that I like to use is Fabri-Tac by Beacon. Um, this is, it um, dries quickly and holds the fabric together really well. Um, this is what I have found works the best for me. There are different types of fabric glue. If you have one that you like better, by all means use it. It might also be helpful to have some needle nose pliers and some sewing clips or binder clips um, that will help hold the flower petal in place while the glue is drying so you don't have to sit there and hold it with your fingers and you can move on to the next step. All right, let's get started. Our first step for making the calla lily is to glue our petals together. So I want you to take the outer petal, the one that has the curve to the left hand side, I want you to flip that over, All right? And we're going to put the glue on this piece. This is piece is going to be slightly larger than your other piece. And that is because as the petal curves, the inner will actually slide just a little bit and it'll make up for that difference. So you want to get a good amount of glue on here. Get all the way to the edge. I like to put down a layer of glue and then kind of slide it over toward the edge and spread the glue out so you don't have really large clumps of glue that tends to make that area very stiff. So I put down some glue and then I use my glue bottle tip to kind of spread it around a little bit. Once you have that glue on there, you're going to take your small silver wire pieces. And the first one you're going to lay right here at the tip going down. Just press that on there. This will allow you to add a little bit of definition to your calla lily. The next piece, you want to come over here to the scalloped edge. I usually put a little bend in mine and I add it right here to the scalloped edge. Again, this will help add just a little bit of definition, a little bit of structure to your calla lily. Once you get the wires in place, you're going to take your inner portion and I want you to go ahead and line up the tips and then line up the curved rounded edge. So you're going to see around here and around the scalloped edge here is where you're going to be able to see the, ex the um, outer petal. Again, as we curve this around, you can see that piece slides. 
so you're not going to be able to see it um, once you have your petal curved. But for now, let that lay flat. And we're going to let that dry while we move on to our next step. Our next step is going to be to create the stem and the stamen. Um, calla lilies have this pretty little yellow stamen that comes up through the middle of the flower. We're going to create that look with wire. So you're going to take your thicker stem. You're going to pick one of your ends. And then you're going to take your golden yellow wire. I like to go, oh, about an inch-ish down. And I want you to leave just a small amount of the end of your wire sticking out. And then you're going to start wrapping. Wrap loosely, or well, wrap tightly, but um, don't stack it tightly up to the top of your stem. At this point, you're going to want to wrap loosely and messily to kind of give it a rounded shape at the top. Okay. Once you get the shape you want up there, you're going to begin wrapping tightly again, straight down the wire, straight down the stem. And you can see I'm wrapping my wire so that it's fairly close and touching because I want to cover as much as that green as I can. Because when you see the stamen, it's yellow. So you want to wrap it nice and tight so it's not going to move around on you all the way down to the bottom. So let's lock that piece in place. You can kind of play with the top if it's not done the way you quite want it to. Okay. So there you go, you have your wrapped stamen. Now we're going to take our green wire and this piece that you had sticking out from the beginning. Sorry, let me get back in frame. Piece you had sticking out from the beginning. I want you to just twist those two together. Bumping my camera. I apologize. Okay. Get those twisted together and wrap the green wire just once or so around your stem piece. The rest of this wire is going to be left loose for the moment. It's going to be used later to wrap the flower to the stem. Now we're going to move back to our petal. The glue's had a little bit of a chance to set and dry. We're going to take our glue and we're going to add glue to this bottom portion of the petal. right along here. And that was a lot of glue. My glue came out very fast. Okay. You're going to want to take this rounded edge, fold it in and up, and you want to just wrap almost in a cone shape. Okay. Come back in and add a little bit of glue up the side here, only to this first bump. 
on the scallop portion. And get that cone shape back in there. Okay, you want to leave a little bit of a hole here because that's where your stem's going to slip through. But you want it small enough that your stem will stay where it's supposed to. So make that hole. Okay. This is where a sewing clip or a binder clip will come in handy. If you clip this up portion here, that will hold it in place. So you don't have to worry quite as much about holding everything steady. All right. You want to give this a minute or two to sit and um, let the glue set and dry. And then we will move on to putting the stem in and you'll be almost done. Our next step is going to be adding the stem to the flower. I'm going to go ahead and keep my clip in place for the moment. Um, if you've let yours dry for, you know, five, 10 minutes, you can probably remove yours. My glue isn't quite dry yet because I haven't waited quite that long. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your stem and this long piece of little green wire. You want to get that green wire as straight as you can, right? So your 22 gauge wire, you're going to add that from the top of your flower down the middle and then just pull your flower up that wire. It is okay if this wire gets some glue on it. In fact, it's probably better if it does. Once you get to your stem, just keep feeding it through. Okay. And you'll see, my clip's a little bit in the way, you'll see you want to stop right there where the stamen hits the base of the flower. Okay. Next thing you're going to want to do is wrap the green wire right at the base of the where the flower and the stem meet. You want to wrap it just around the stem three or four times to get a nice hold. Then you're going to want to start wrapping it up the flower. Again, you don't want it tight touching at this point. And go up half an inch to three quarters of an inch, however you feel you want the flower to look. Give it a nice tug once you get it to the top to get it taut and tight around that area. I like to add just a little bit of glue to kind of help my wire stay in place. You don't want too much. See if I can get just a little bit with this glue that's coming out fast today. And that will help the wire kind of stay where you want it so the flower doesn't slip later on. Now, same thing as you did with the stamen. You want to just wrap this down your petal. It's okay if you have a little bit of crossing. Make sure you give yourself enough room to get to the back to the bottom. Once you get to the bottom, you're going to want to wrap around the stem with the last little bit. If you need to kind of, sorry, I keep going out of frame. If you need to kind of play with it just a little bit to kind of get it how you want it, sometimes I even unwrap it completely and rewrap it because it just didn't do what I wanted it to do. Luckily today, I actually got it in this first try, but if you need to unwrap it and rewrap it, don't worry, the wire will bend and reshape. Okay. So now that I have that, I'll take my clip off because that will help hold this in place. All right. So give that just a few minutes to dry. 
and then we'll go about shaping the flower. Okay, now that you have everything wrapped, we're going to shape this flower portion. The wire that you put in will let you put the bend at the tip of the cow lily as much as you want it to be. Okay, that'll give it a nice shape. And then also, this wire we put here will kind of help us get this out. Okay, because you want to be able to see that pretty wrapped yellow in there. So you can play with that, get it how you like it, and you have your cork and wire calla lily. Thanks for joining me. I hope you love these, and I hope you find that they make something more beautiful. Have a great day.